10 is Prince Harry. Prince Harry has been in some hot water the last couple of years. From leaving the royal family, doing an interview with Oprah, to making a Netflix documentary, to releasing a book, he is not in his family's or the general public's good graces. Now there were many shocking things revealed in his interview with Oprah, including Harry's rift between his brother William and how there were concerns in the palace over Archie's skin color. In the Netflix documentary, he implied that other men in the royal family didn't marry for love, but for image and ties. And his book, oh his book. It was filled with so many lies and so many accusations against his family. Lots of people were happy when he and Meghan left the royal family, and then he was caught up in drama about the coronation this year and whether or not he was going to attend. There seems to be so much drama around him that people have started to side with Prince William more than him. Number 9. Drew Barrymore Actress Drew Barrymore was loved by everyone and it seemed like she could do no wrong, but everyone has since turned on the star. As you all know, the writers were on strike for 4 months and Drew announced on social media that her show was coming back despite being struck by the Writers Guild of America. After facing a WGA picket and a mountain of criticism online, Drew issued an apology 6 days later for hurting feelings, but said that the show would still continue, specifying this was her decision. Now that went over even worse, and the backlash not only from the writers and guild members on strike, but from fans was enormous. After weathering a storm of criticism, Drew announced that she would respect the strike and stand in solidarity with her writers. I am making the decision to pause the show's premiere until the strike is over. I have no words to express my deepest apologies to anyone I have hurt, and of course our incredible team who works on the show and has made it what it is today. She wrote on Instagram. It seems like no one will ever forgive her for being a scab, and I don't think she'll be able to ever live this down. Number 8. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher are best known for their roles in that 70s show and were relationship goals to everyone. Well, that was until recently when they were two of more than 50 people who wrote into a judge in their That 70s Show co-star Danny Matterson's trial to support the convicted actor ahead of his sentencing. This outraged fans that they would come to his defense after the crimes he committed. After the backlash, the couple then posted a video apologizing for their letters. They said, we are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Matterson. We support victims, we have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. Ashton then explained how Danny's family reached out to him and Mila to write a character letter to represent the person we knew for 25 years. The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling, Mila said. They were intended for the judge to read and not to undermine the testimony of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way, Ashton added. Now the internet does not believe them and is super disappointed in the pair for being a part of that. Number 7. Joe Jonas Joe bro Joe Jonas has had girls crushing on him from his Disney days until now, and it seems like the only wrong he's ever done was breaking up with Taylor Swift on the phone, but now that has all changed. On September 5th, Joe officially filed for divorce from Sophie Turner. Their relationship is irretrievably broken. He submitted the paperwork to end his marriage. Divorce was a last resort for Joe. He never wanted to break up his family, but he had to take what he felt was the best court of action for his girls, an insider said. Now Joe has been continuously trying to paint Sophie as the bad guy, and things have turned sour as it has been reported that Sophie found out about the divorce through the media. Now Sophie is suing Joe, and it's just a huge mess. Number 6. Roseanne Barr Roseanne Barr began her career in stand-up comedy before gaining acclaim in the television sitcom Roseanne, which she won an Emmy and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. It was a fan favorite, and in 2018, her show Roseanne was revived. Now the revived sitcom did great, and the series was renewed for another season just three days after the season premiere. Now unfortunately, the series was then cancelled months later, following Roseanne's comments on Twitter. You see, she's a Trump supporter and is one of those crazy conspiracy theorists. One day, she sent tweets attacking the then US President Barack Obama's senior advisor Valerie Jarrett, calling her a cross between a Muslim Brotherhood member and Planet of the Apes monkey. Now Roseanne was fired and ABC created the show called The Connors, which follows the family of Roseanne after the character Roseanne passes away. Yeah, they made a new show without her that's quite successful, and Roseanne hasn't had much work since. Number 5. Lizzo Lizzo is a body positivity rapper and singer who could really do no wrong in our eyes. Well, that was until three of her former 
hardcore dancers have accused the singer of sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment in a lawsuit filed. They also alleged that she pressured one of them to touch a nude performer at an Amsterdam club and subjected the group to an excruciating audition after leveling false accusations that they were drinking on the job. The dancers accused Lizzo of calling attention to one dancer's weight gain and later berating then firing that dancer after she recorded a meeting because of a health condition. Now the suit followed in Los Angeles Superior Court and provided to NBC News by the plaintiff's law firm also accuses the captain of Lizzo's dance team of deriding those who had premarital sex while sharing lewd sexual fantasies, simulating oral sex, and publicly discussing the virginity of one of the plaintiffs. Now in addition to accusations of a hostile work environment and sexual harassment, the suit brings claims for religious and racial harassment, false imprisonment, interference with prospective economic advantage, and other allegations. There's been lots of drama around all of this and it's a messy situation that is still developing, but it seems like the public opinion has changed surrounding her. Number 4. Hailey Bieber Hailey Bieber is a model who grew up in the Baldwin family and married Justin Bieber. Now earlier this year, Hailey was exposed as a mean girl in Hollywood. The drama came on February 22nd when Hailey and her good friend Kylie Jenner were seemingly poking fun at Selena Gomez. Selena's fans were not having this and got angry at them and started defending Selena. People on the internet then began digging up all kinds of stuff to use against Haley, like saying her marriage to Justin was arranged or for motives other than love. Like saying her marriage to Justin was arranged or for motives other than love, like citizenship. Now people have also accused Haley of stalking Justin when she was younger and of copying Selena by the way she dresses, answers questions, and even her tattoos. Now it didn't take too long for the internet to turn on Haley, and not to mention audience members at the music festival Rolling Loud began chanting F Haley while Justin performed on stage. Now it's hard to say if she was ever really loved, but she's definitely hated now. Number 3. JK Rowling Over the past few years, the universally loved author JK Rowling has left a sour taste in people's mouths. She wrote all the Harry Potter books and she made people's childhood, but she's been ruining it with her hurtful opinions. Now she's been open about her feminist beliefs, which are trans exclusionary. She's known as being a TERF, which is an acronym for trans exclusionary radical feminist. Now fans have called her this term and JK has decided to accept the term and welcome it. She told a fan Mary Turfmas on Twitter. Now her willingness to be so open about discrimination has made many fans angry and they were calling for people to boycott her new video game. Now when speaking about her transphobic views, she said, personally it's not been fun and I have been scared at times for my own safety and overwhelmingly for my family's safety. Which is kind of ironic because this is how trans people feel all the time for just being themselves. Now she added, time will tell whether I've got this wrong. I can only say that I've thought about it deeply and hard and long and I've listened, I promise, to the other side. Now most people don't agree with her though and believe in basic human rights, so safe to say she has it wrong. She's lost a lot of fans in the LGBTQ plus community and she's ruined the magic of Harry Potter. Number 2. Ellen DeGeneres There's been an Ellen DeGeneres hate train for many years now and it seems like it's come to a head. In 2021, she announced that her talk show was coming to an end after almost two decades on the air. News of her departure came after staff members reported a toxic work environment. Employees said they were fired after taking medical leave or bereavement days to attend family funerals. Others said they were also instructed by their direct managers to not speak to Ellen if they saw her around the office. It's also said that Ellen only appears to be bubbly and down to earth on camera, but backstage she is demanding and rude to her staff. Now a few have even quit because of her behavior because apparently she explodes at staffers over the tiniest things. Now most recently clips have been circulating from her show where she mistreated her guests and made them uncomfortable and embarrassed them. And coming in at number one is Kanye West. Kanye West was considered a musical genius and he had many different brands and was a part of one of the most influential families in the world, the Kardashians. He seemed to be loved by all even after the Taylor Swift incident, but that all went downhill in 2022. He wore a White Lives Matter shirt to Paris Fashion Week, and he then spewed a lot of anti-Semitic hate online and in interviewers, and he started praising a certain German leader. Now due to all of this, a bunch of brands dropped him, The Gap, banking group JP Morgan, and Adidas are just a few. Now earlier in this year, he also seemed to be obsessed with his now ex-wife's Kim Kardashian's then boyfriend Pete Davidson, with writing a song about Pete and how much he hates him, to literally bullying Pete all over the internet, we saw a new jealous and scary side to
to Kanye. 2022 was not his year at all, and although things have been going better for him this year, besides his crazy social media posts, it seems like he'll never get back into the good graces of the public. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 once loved celebs who are now hated. Are you still a fan of any of these celebrities? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time.